Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's talk today about how to get through those hard days. If you're suffering from depression, anxiety, addiction, PTSD, those types of things, I've had all those, manage all those things. We're going to have hard days. Not every day is going to be bliss. Not every day is going to be wonderful. It's easy to get all your stuff done to be productive, to work out, exercise, eat right, be sociable. It's easy to get through your easy days when you're feeling good. When you're feeling really good and you're, you're, on, a, you're on an upswing, you're on a high, so to speak, those days are fine. And we can put stuff on our plate and have ideas and goals and plans. But then we have those hard days. And everything goes out the window. Your whole program goes out the window. Your diet goes out the window. You may start drinking again, smoking again. Give yourself excuses to slide backwards. Tell yourself, I just can't do it today. I don't have the energy today. People take off work. They stay home. They'll sleep all day. Thinking that that type of behavior is going to heal them. That they're taking care of themselves. We can have people around us also that encourage that type of laziness and that type of backsliding where they'll say, oh, well, just take care of yourself and, you know, do the best you can. I'm a firm believer in discipline. Living a disciplined life is a happy life. So when we have our hard days, those depressed days, when our weaknesses feel like they're in the forefront, some days those weaknesses don't feel like they're really attacking us too much and Sure, they're still there. We have issues and problems that we want to make goals and that we want to uh, do things to become better in certain areas. We all have that. And on our good days, those don't really feel like that they're taking us over. But on our bad days, they're right there, right in front of us. It's all we can see, like a big brick wall. And that's why it's important to stay on top of your productivity that's the first thing I really believe that is important in, on the worst days is to be productive. Don't just sleep all day. Don't go and revert back to self-destructive behavior and giving yourself an excuse. What I like to do is make lists. I write a list every single night for my next day of what I need to do. Now some of it is routine. But I put the routine stuff on there anyways. I make a full list. I have a little notepad that I have on my coffee table here. It sits out here all the time and it has my list every single day. I put stuff on my list that may just seem like obvious. Eat breakfast. Brush your teeth. Work out. Just basic stuff. Stuff I do every day. But I, put, I make a list. I always make a list. And I try to fill my list not only with just the regular stuff that I do on a daily basis, but then I add things. So if I have to look around the house and say, well, the garage needs new light bulbs, goes on the list. There was that bullshit I needed to take care of at the post office, been putting that off, goes on the list. I need to drop the car off at the mechanic and have him check this or check that goes on the list. I just put extra stuff on my list above and beyond the normal things. I also add on my list creativity. So I like to write. You may have your creative outlets, whatever they are. Put those on your list. So when you have your list for the night, right before you go to bed, in that downtime that you have, after work is done and after everything is done and you're, maybe you're watching TV or whatever, you have a little time to yourself, make your list for the next day. When you're going through a hard time and say, if you have depression, sometimes you can have a good day and wake up, you could just have a bunch of bad dreams all night and wake up the next day and that day's kind of blown. This used to be me. And I wouldn't know it was coming. It was just wake up in a bad mood, wake up depressed, wake up feeling extra weak, extra sorry for myself, feeling lonely and not worthy and all kinds of negative stuff that would normally just debilitate me. And it used to. 
I would just give up and say, well, this day's blown. I'll try again some other day. I just can't today. But when I have my list, it shows me what I need to do for each day. That I need to get on top of this stuff. I need to conquer my list. And your list is so important just for your daily discipline, but it's extra important on those weekdays. Always accomplish your list. Drag yourself through it if you have to. Just live for the day. I just live for one day. I'm not thinking a week down the road. It's, in good, to, it's, it's, it's good to make your list for the next day. But while you're going through your day and you're having the hardest time, just you feel like the world is against you, you're having a hard time surviving that day, mentally or physically, sometimes both. You're just living for the day. Your goal for that day is to get through today, is to get through. If I can get through this day, everything will be okay. So you go down your list and if you, it, may feel, it might feel extra hard to get some of this stuff done. Whereas on a normal day when you're happy, when you're feeling good, you're feeling powerful, you're on top of your game, you breeze through that list. Have plenty of extra time to go do other stuff. It's always good to be able to add more to make yourself stronger, to make yourself a better person, to make yourself a happier person, add more happiness to your list. But on those, on those hard days, when life just got you down, your goal is just to get through that list. And cross stuff off with victory. Every time you do something, cross that off your list. It's important to cross it off. And that way, as you go, you can see Okay, I've done three things. I got four more to go. If I can just get through these four things, this day will feel accomplished. Sometimes a small amount of accomplishment can really lift our spirits. We still may have our problems, and you still may say, well, I'm, I'm lonely, I'm depressed, I'm financially broke, I'm this, that, the other. Have your uh, grab bag of problems. I'm struggling with addiction, I'm struggling with PTSD, I've been triggered for the last week and a half, but it, that still may be there. But as you go through your daily list on the hardest days and you cross each thing off, by the end of that day when you've conquered your list and like I have on my paper today, just a bunch of scribbled out chores and things that I was, you know, that I, that I did, I know that at the very least, I at least did something for, I moved forward today. So today may have been hard. Today may have been a sad day. It may have been a weak day. I don't mean just during the week, but weakness it may have been a day of weakness. But I still moved forward. Some days you'll move faster than others along the path. Some days it's like hiking. Some days you can feel like you're really moving ground. You, you cover a couple miles today several miles, you really made some good movement today. And some days you just get a little bit further. Doesn't really feel like it's that far, but it's better than staying where you were. So I'm a firm believer in lists, in daily discipline towards getting your stuff done. Make a list every single day. When you're feeling good, load that list up. When you're feeling bad, just get yourself through that day. Get your basics done with a couple other things towards your happiness and towards your life. On a bad day, it's a good idea to clean up the house. It's a good idea to take care of some of that mess some of, and, and make your environment happier. Because what we see on the outside can affect us on the inside. Not many of us, some people are lucky to have beautiful locations where they live and they can walk right outside their house and go hiking through the mountains or walking on the beach, but most of us just live in cities. So you kind of have to create a healthy, happy environment, even if it's just in your small apartment. Put little things on your list that are going to move you forward. And by the end of that day, on that week, day of weakness, day of sadness, on a rough day, you can at least sit down to a, a cleaned house in your living room 
a clean kitchen when you go make some food. You don't have a mountain of dishes and you're just like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ. You know, you, you, you have a clean kitchen. When you go to bed, you have a made bed and a clean room. Your laundry's done. Get these things done. They're extra important on these days of weakness, on your bad days. If you have to just drag your feet through work, you look at it as not torture. Sure, you may have to endure it, but it's another step forward towards financial freedom, towards getting on top of your debt, if that's what the case may be, towards building up a savings, towards being able to afford the food at the end of the week that you need to go shopping for, those types of things. So you look at it, there's a value to every single thing you do. And when you put your head to bed at night, you make another list before you go to bed for the next day. And you don't know what the next day is going to bring. The next day might be a good day. But you know that at least this day, I got through this day, I did my part. And sure, life might be tough right now. I might be going through some shit. There might be some drama. I just might be out of my normal state of mind. I might have a cloudy, instead of a clear head, I may have a cloudy head. But at least I moved forward along the path. Every day we want to move forward. Thanks for watching.